Uh, what's up YouTube? Uh, quick video. As you always tend to be lately, or try to be. Um, I decided to put the wings on just to keep them out of the way, stop them from getting damaged. And I did something that I've been wanting to do for quite a while. Uh, it's pretty simple, I don't know what you're going to be able to see actually, I'm not very prepared. Um, you know, you can't see this side. Let's have a look. There we are. Can see you up in the front there. What I've done with is got away with the normal bolts that these are held on with, and I used the length of M6 threaded bar, which I just cut to length, and then simply just. Um, cut out some gaskets the same size of the metal washers that I'm using um, and then just threaded those into the bolt holes the rubber gasket the metal washer and that. I find that that's a lot better than trying to fight holding the wing and putting a bolt on this way you can rest the whole wing on the threads that stick out uh, check out my Instagram gtbugger I'm going to upload some pictures so you can see better um, but yeah you can rest the wing on them and then simply just put a knot on you don't have to worry about holding it in place trying to get one bolt it is a bit of a nightmare yeah, anyone who's took their wings off these cars know exactly what I'm talking about so it's just a slight little thing that I wanted to do just to improve it and I did it whilst I was getting these out of the way um, one issue I have noticed whilst doing this and I'd have thought I'd have test fitted them beforehand is this one fits nice see the lines running there once everything's tightened up it'll pull it up close and obviously you've got the beading to sit in here quite nice this side is a different story yeah where this point is it doesn't quite sit into there where the apron comes down and then we don't have that it's almost like this whole wing needs to fall forward a bit so what I might try and do is elongate some of the holes so I can just adjust it a little bit more help it fit better but also while I'm putting the new heater channel in it's fouling against that which isn't allowing me to bring it in up to the body obviously I've got a repair to make here so I won't do anything beforehand but I'm thinking I'm just gonna cut this down because we've got quite a big lip on there might just cut out a bit on that corner just get it a fit better but um, yeah there we are with wings on and what a difference drastic difference match it with lights bumpers and the reason I've changed them is because the wings that I came with didn't have these for the indicators on top which is correct for this model also this bonnet's incorrect it's supposed to have a vent there it doesn't um, yeah I'm going to make these for all sides I've just done them for the front for now because obviously I want to get them wings out of the way so I did bars easily easy to get hold of if anyone wants to do this and it's just M6 just make sure like there's a bolt size that I was using originally you want to cut the threads longer obviously because you've got to account for washer and gasket if you decide to use them like I've done and obviously the nut needs some threads to get onto as well so you want to make sure you make them a bit longer let's try and narrow test fit a couple go from there well uh, yeah, I thought I'd show a little something a little bit different rather than just this uh, debauchery at the back of the car 
that we're still dealing with. Second, there we go. Yeah, we're still. Well, that's why I wanted the wings out of the way because I need to raise this up so I can get underneath the luggage compartment or boot space if you want to try and call it that. But still got some cleaning up to do, like I've been saying, probably for the past 10 videos. But we're getting there, getting there, guys. As soon as this is tidied up, painted, it's going to come together pretty quickly. Obviously, I've got side trays and everything to go in, but I think it's fairly clean up there. You can't see anything. I have a torch somewhere, I think. Probably put it somewhere safe. Here we go. Show you quickly if we can. Oh, yeah, not the best torch in the world. We can see it's all. It's not bad condition. Needs um, all the under seals being taken off. It just needs protecting. So I want to do that all at once. But it's taken a bit longer than I would have hoped or liked. But we'll get there. Um, progress every week. So I'm aiming for really. Um, I want to get it primed so I can put them pieces on. Uh, get on with that, try and uh, clean some more up and then see how far I get. Why wheel on this bit here above the bell housing. Let's get it done, people. Well, what? Them wings on the front. I haven't had wings on the front. Oh, here we go. That's the normal setup that you have. These aren't original, they're long gone, the original bolts. But I believe it's just a washer and bolt set up, and you can imagine just holding a wing up there while you're trying to get up under the wheel. And if you've got a load car, it's even more difficult. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. I'll update you next time, something to see.